Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. New Air validates parachute for Flytrex package delivery drones. Airbus and the Haute de France region team up for UAV deliveries. And Impossible Aerospace US-1 drone responds to California fire. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. Parachutes on the Israel based drone company Flytrex delivery drones have been validated as compliant with industry standards, following testing by New Air at the New York UAS test site in Rome, New York. This is the second parachute standard validation performed by New Air. Flytrex's drone rescue system's M600 parachute is designed to reduce the risk of harming people on the ground by bringing down equipment safely in the event of a drone malfunction. Its patented mechanism deploys a parachute within milliseconds and only takes a few minutes to repack the system and relaunch the drone. The DRS M600 is equipped with a traceable black box, which stores flight data so in the event of a malfunction, it can be recovered and analyzed. Flytrex's testing of the DRS M600 parachute under New Air supports the recent announcement by New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo of a New York Israel partnership and the creation of a UAS Center of Excellence in the Mohawk Valley, which will be led by New Air. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a quick look at a few stories making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. James Murdoch may be involved in a new tech venture, best known for being the younger son of media figure Rupert Murdoch. He diverted his efforts from the family business after it sold some significant assets to the Walt Disney Company. Now the younger Murdoch is backing the initial funding for a Norwegian drone tech company known as Ubique Aerospace. DJI released an open letter in which it expresses deep disappointment with the way drones were depicted in two reports televised by the BBC. The reports, one which aired in April and the second on July 1st, focus on the dangers posed by drones operating near commercial airports. The BBC reports DJI asserts the reports were based on hearsay and say the broadcaster was not true to its public charge to inform, educate, and entertain. With the addition of Vertigo Aero, a hybrid electric aerospace powertrain firm, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University's Applied Aviation and Engineering Research Hangar has reached capacity and is primed to expand employment in Volusia County, Florida. Currently, Vertigo Aero is focusing on its integrated distributed electric propulsion powertrain hardware, as well as engineering services and contract R&D programs in support of its customers' aircraft development program. Oshkosh is less than two weeks away, and while it's home to many manned aircraft innovations and marvels, it's also become a major showcase for drones, other UAV airframes, and a whole lot of autonomous flying machines. We here at Aero News Network will be there with daily reports every single day right from the show. Don't miss out on our coverage at aero-news.net. Now back to the rest of the news. Airbus and the Haute de France region have signed a partnership agreement to assess the economic development potential of air deliveries on a regional scale. The Haute de France region aims to become Europe's logistic hub. Regional authorities are particularly supporting the creation of the E Valley Park, a logistics park dedicated to new e commerce services on the site of the former Cambrai Air Base. For this activity, air delivery is an innovative development focus. This operational study involving stakeholders from the region's economic and academic ecosystems of logistics and retail activities is therefore launched for six months to identify the need of local economic operators as well as the technical concepts and solutions required to meet them, while taking stock of the current and expected future regulations. The shared ambition is to foster the deployment of new economic models in the Haute de France region based on the innovative use of UAVs, particularly to support disruptive changes in the supply chain dedicated both to industrial activities and distribution. 
US-1 unmanned aircraft from Impossible Aerospace made a public demonstration at a four-alarm construction site fire, burning only minutes away from the company's Santa Clara headquarters. The US-1 delivered high-def thermal video to ground crews, allowing them to identify hotspots to share with first responders. The aircraft was operated by Impossible Aerospace pilots as part of the company's rapid response program offered to neighboring agencies. The US-1 delivers between 78 and 90 minutes of flight time when carrying payloads used by first responders significantly outperforming other multi-rotor drones on the market. As the demand for domestic aerospace technology continues to rise, Impossible Aerospace seeks partnership with local governments, police and fire departments, as well as private customers. According to the company, US-1 reportedly outlasted three other news helicopters that also arrived on the scene. And that's it for us today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe tweet and like us. And for more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I'll see you right back here tomorrow for an episode of Airborne Unlimited.